G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look, look what I've got for you. I know, you all wanted this ripples mould, my water ripples mould. So I made it and I'm going to pour in it today. It's pretty decent size. It's pretty heavy, weighs 800 grams. Um, what's that in pounds? Mm, one and a half pounds? About that. <laughs> pretty heavy so you can see hopefully you can see it's got this gorgeous undulating surface there where it dips and then comes back up really flowy looking so and the matching curvy sort of wavy edges as well so it really does look when you've got your resin piece it really does look like water it really does um so i'm gonna just pour some very lightly tinted resin i'm gonna use my ocean tint um and then i thought for something a little bit different how about we use some cellophane so this is just it's a little roll and it sort of fits quite nicely i'll have to trim it a bit I'll, i'm not going to follow the exact shape of it i'll just do like a, a rectangle i'll trim that now this is basically um 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters the inside measurement so that's um eight by 12 inches um i have ordered some canvases i'm so excited at canvases the same size so i can actually mount it um on a canvas as a piece of art like you don't have to use it as a tray why can't it be a piece of art so anyway i'm very excited about that so i'm going to trim this if it'll stay and then um, I might as well put that edge right up against there so I don't waste any of this uh, so it doesn't have to be the exact same size just roughly there we go so yeah it's it, um, when I hold it up to the window, I get blue. And then when I turn it back down this way, it's kind of more of like an orange. Oh, there's not much on the roll. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, this is a brand new roll. I just got it out. Oh, okay. Well, at least I've got this out of it. This came in like a little bag like this from um, Amazon. All right. It's deceptive, isn't it? You think you're getting a lot and you're not. <laughs> I should read this small print okay um let me just trim this up a little bit actually if i bring that down to there and then i can just trim here i mean you could if you particularly wanted to you know follow all the curves of the mold but for the sake of it i don't think we really need to as long as it fits in across the top i'm just take the corners off uh, yeah and then I'm going to mix up my resin I will use the what will I use what will I use um, the mold is about 14 millimeters deep in the deepest part so I would suggest not using like a really um, like a top coating resin use something that you know it does allow you to go a little bit deeper my ultra clear my platinum ultra clear allows me to go a little bit deeper like that without flash curing um so yeah all right let me make sure this fits now before i pour my resin in needs a little bit more off here so anyway i'm going to make it so it sits flat uh, mix up my resin and uh, i will be right back right look at my big cup of resin it's actually two cups uh, 500 grams in an Australia a cup is 250 grams in the States it's 225 grams so when I say a cup it's an Australia cup two cups 500 grams of resin um, now let's pop in some ocean resin tint from color passion and we'll just start with two drops I'd, I want it really pale I mean, water, in reality, water's clear. It's just the reflection of the sky that makes it look blue or green. 
it's clear and uh, because I've got this cellophane here it's quite dark so again I don't want my actual resin to be too too dark it always looks darker in the cup because it's deep but um it's not really that dark in reality now I was just as I was standing here stirring for four minutes I was looking at my piece of cellophane and it wants to curl under so I just if I try and put that into wet resin I think it's just going to like try and curl into the like tuck into the edges so I'm thinking I might wait until the resin's kind of tacky and then stick it over the top ideally a flat piece of cellophane would be better this is not ideal because it's curling on the edges um, fantasy film too I think would look amazing I'll do that next I'll do this a few times because I love this mold it's just a bit some, something a bit different for me isn't it it is so um, yeah I'll, I'll do this fantasy film next time I have a, quite a few ideas of things that I want to do with it um, I probably should have used a bigger cup and put it into my vacuum chamber because there's a few bubbles there but hopefully they'll come up and I'm also going to spray the surface with my isopropyl alcohol just making sure that I haven't got any streaks. I can still see one streak. Make sure it's all mixed really well. If you've got a nice thin resin, the bubbles generally come up to the surface really easily. All right, let's move that to the side. Move that away. Put that over here. And we'll give it a bit of a spray with some isopropyl alcohol. Not that it's got lots of little edges, dark deep edges. Here we go. But just just to stop the bubbles from sticking to the surface. But yeah, I probably should have put it in my vacuum chamber. Just needed to go into like a bigger container. You know those bigger measuring jugs? Sometimes I use those and then pop that in my vacuum chamber. But let's hope it'll be all right still quite dark isn't it even just two drops maybe one drop next time all right so we just need to cover all these little points you don't want any little points poking through okay i think that's look at that perfect amount hey perfect amount i know right <laughs> oopsie obviously it wasn't mixed well on the sides because I've got a little streak there but that's okay I'll just blend it and it's gone like that gone skis or it could be on my stick nope it's on the side of the cup all right so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for now I'll keep an eye on it so if I see any bubbles clinging to the surface I can just go in there with a little micro brush and and lift them out but I will give it a light torching just for the surface bubbles now you've got to be really careful when you're torching because these these high bits here they're only just under the surface so if you torch them you know these will be the bits that get overheated I didn't understand that. my phone's talking to me for some reason Oh gosh, <laughs> isn't it funny how phones just, they're listening to you. It was listening to me. It said, I didn't understand that. I didn't turn that on. It's in my pocket. Oh, you just don't know who's listening to you, do you? Okay. So I've gone, oh, I've gone over the corner just a tiny little bit there. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll leave it there. Um, and I uh, will come back to you when it's kind of tacky, I guess, and we'll see if we can put this bit of cellophane over the top. It just, it just wants to curl. It just wants to curl. Oh my gosh, is that a hair or is that just a streak? No, it's just a streak. All right, uh, I will cover this with my little lovely food net that the lovely Kelly sent to me. Hi, Kelly. She sent me some food nets. Isn't she lovely? So we'll get that out and uh, cover it up. 
and uh, yeah I'll come back to you soon <laughs> so the the resin's still soft it's kind of gelling so I thought I might have a go at putting the um, cellophane on it's really annoying that as the resin cures and releases heat it creates bubbles because they weren't there before but they're here now so <laughs> it's really annoying but anyway it is what it is resin has a mind of its own now I don't know if this is going to dig in or not it might be make a huge big mess I've got something on there if it doesn't work if it starts digging in um, I'll change to fantasy film actually I wonder if I wonder if I heat it, it might kind of lay flat more. What do you think? I've got no room to heat it here. Oh gosh, I'm trying to do things one-handedly. Sure, if it will kind of lay flat, <laughs> worth a worth a chance, worth a shot. I'll try this side as well. Kind of push it flat. How's that? That's that's kind of lying flat, but then it's on a flat piece of board. It's curling a little bit it's look it's not as probably as bad as it was now the other thing we need to do is try and get this without getting bubbles so I'm gonna pop it down here on this side and then just try and like push it slowly into place and you can actually see if there's like a bubble being caught under there. So hopefully, hopefully this will work. Just easing it down. Oops, it's moving though. I'm trying to pull the whole thing too far that way. Just ease it down. Oh, it looks as if it might work, you guys. You might have a different way of doing it. You might have a better idea. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what your way would be. But uh, this seems to be working. Ta-da! It's down, it's down. And because it's the back, it doesn't really matter, you know, if a little bit of the resin goes over. Like, it looks as if the corners are kind of curling under, but... For the sake of what we want, is that a bubble under there? Oh gosh, I think that's a bubble under there. It is! Get out! I didn't put my gloves on because I didn't want to, um, it's just more difficult to work with um, cellophane. I've got gloves on, but I'm not touching the resin. I'm trying to get that bubble out there. I think it's gone. I think it's gone. I don't see any more bubbles. Maybe there's one there. Hang on. Yep, there's one there too. I was I thinking there weren't any more. I'm just going to lift this corner. And I'll try and get the bubbles out, obviously. But if there's still one, I guess, not much I can do about it. Anyway, all right, we'll wait until it's cured. Uh, you could also, you know, do a layer of resin, put this down and then put another layer over the top. But I'm probably going to mount this on a canvas, so the back, it's not really going to matter to me, but I'm going to get that bubble out. Uh, I'll put my gloves on, put that, get that bubble out. All right, I'll see you when it's cured. Okay. Oh, look, my nails match. <laughs> I can just see blue. Oh, let's have a look. I've just got it out of my uh, resin curing machine, so it's a little bit warm and a bit bendy still. Oh, look.
look, I can see bubbles or... No, oh, never mind. Bubbles are the bane of a resonor's existence, aren't they? They're just... They're always there, like they weren't there. But as it cured, they were there. I will link my Ripple's mould for you in the description down below if you would like one. All right, let's have a little look at what this is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to show up too well. I, I might have to go and walk around with it. Okay, here we go. <gasps> here we go. Oh, well, it just looks ripply from here. It looks ripply. We're not going to see, I don't think we're going to see the, um, the color shift until I start sort of moving around in the room like I didn't want it oh there's there's a bit of color I didn't want it to be too um too prominent I guess I just wanted like little hints of color poking through here and there I don't know what you can see through the what you can see through my screen there not that you can see through my screen but I don't know I don't know if you can see that I don't know all right I'm gonna take it take you down um, and just see if I can have a look at it in some different lights. I'm a bit upset about those bubbles. Gosh. I probably should have de it first, really. Put it in the vacuum machine first is what I should have done. I'll do it next time. I'll do it next time. What do you think? Look at that. You can see some colours there now, can't you? I'm going to bring it down like that. Although it's probably a bit, a bit glary with the ring lights. All right. How am I going to hold this for you now? Oh, look at that. Oh, hang on, I've got to zoom out. My arms aren't that long. Whee, done. And I'm going to go. Zoom out. All right, let's try this again. So, now this is the reflection of that. Oh, look, there's blue that way. And we're getting some kind of orange that way. Oh, look at my floor. I'm getting getting pretty lights on my floor too <laughs> oh gosh small things all right let's go up here away from those bright lights and we'll see what we can see I really need to be I need to really hold it put the camera down and, and hold it somehow for you I think there's lights playing on the floor again All right, so we can see you can you can kind of see how there's purples and there's yellows, depending on which way you. I'm fascinated by the lights on the floor. Oh, it's like a cat chasing a light on the floor. Oh dear, um, yeah, it's a bit bendy still because it's soft. I don't I don't know how to show you the lights, you guys. I'm not sure how to do it. I'm not sure. Um. Mm, no, maybe outside tomorrow when the lights, when it's sunny, it's getting dark now. But um, hopefully, hopefully you get the general idea. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm seeing. The different colours kind of coming through from that cellophane. Hopefully you can. Mm, what about if I stand? Oh, I don't know where to stand. It's really hard. Anyone that's tried videoing something to catch particular colours, you'll know the struggle. You'll know the struggle is real. Okay, look. All right, here we go. There's some bluey greens. There's some kind of orangey, pinky yellows. Oh, look, there's a yellowy, bluey green. <laughs> it is kind of working. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks really pretty. Look at that. There's the surface. You can see it's all... It's not smooth. It may look smooth to you, but it's not smooth at all. It's um definitely... There's my step that I stood on so I could see through the camera. Um, yeah, it's definitely a, a textured, undulating kind of a surface. It's 
So there it is. All right, uh, I will go outside tomorrow and uh, try and take a nice photo for you so that you can, or a little video, so that you can see a little bit better because um, I'm just not sure what it's picking up for you. So there you go. But yeah, I'm really happy with my first attempt, but definitely need to pop it in the, um, in the vacuum chamber. <laughs> Although it's ocean. It's a lot to have a few bubbles, isn't it? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll say goodbye now, but I'll go outside tomorrow and, and do a little video for you as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.